Hello, hello, is there anyone there? It is Mr. Duncan in England trying to make contact with the outside world. Is there anyone there? Tap once for yes and twice for no. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Mr. Duncan here in England and also joining me. You can see next to me it is Mr. Steve. That's who it is. There he is. Mr. Steve is here as well. Now, you may have noticed that things are slightly different to normal because I've had some computer problems. Now, I did mention last week that we are having some slight problems with the computer. When I say slight problems, I actually mean big problems. So there are some problems at the moment with the computer. And today, unfortunately, I have had to cancel today's live English stream. So I do apologize for that. Um, they are there are circumstances that are not in my control. Sometimes you have to just let fate take its course. So, uh, Mr. Steve, are you OK today? Are you a bit disappointed? Yes, I was looking forward to our live stream today, but uh, events have overtaken us and uh, we will retool, as they say, for next week. We've got a lesson all prepared. We were going to talk about surgery cosmetic surgery uh, i was going to do a reading about another shakespeare reading but uh, we'll have to do that unfortunately next week uh, when everything technically is working correctly let me show you something here oh i'm getting worried now <laughs> now we had we hadn't prepared oh this is it now this this is this is what i have to deal with now can i just say this is not the inside of my computer this is a photograph of a similar computer so there it is that's what i have to deal with at the moment that there's something wrong in there <laughs> there's there's something wrong inside this thing now this is not my computer on the photograph but it's very similar to mine so i have to sort out the problems now one of the big problems is that my computer is over eight years old now, for those who are into technology and computers, you will know that eight years is a very long time to have a computer. So that computer, the computer behind me, which is refusing to work, is actually over eight years old. And many of the components inside are out of date. They are obsolete. So what I need to do is update the computer to upgrade so when you make the computer more up to date you say you upgrade it it needs to be upgraded it needs to be updated so everything inside needs to be changed basically and of course we are talking about all of the very important parts of a computer all of the very important bits and pieces including the motherboard for those who know about computers, the motherboard is the main part of a computer. It is what controls the whole computer. Think of it as the brain of a computer. So that is where the processor is that has to do all of the things that the computer needs to do. And also you have another part called the graphic card as well. The graphic card, which controls the visuals. So the more visual, the, the higher the quality that you need to have picture wise, then the more the graphic card has to work. So I need a new graphic card and also I need a new motherboard and possibly some new components as well on the back. So because I want to use cameras and live streaming, all of these things, run run the computer at a very high processing rate so you really do need to have an up-to-date computer so my computer is a little bit out of date now it was built for me way back in 2010 now remember it was our friend from manchester and he did a brilliant job in fact i must say it is a good computer it's just the fact that many things now have been updated so the computer now is having trouble keeping up with the times but the computer itself is amazing i have no problems with the computer itself 
People are probably wondering, why. Well, how come then we're still live, aren't they? Ah, we're, li we're, we're live now because we're on the mobile phone. <laughs> so it's not connected to the computer. So we're not doing all the technical things uh, where, where Mr. Duncan is, uh, is uh, putting a video clip on and then he's switching between one camera himself and then me. Uh, all this technical, you've probably seen him twiddling around with his buttons and things my, like my, that. My knobs. So, so I, uh, I have no knobs today. To none of that, just the, just the mobile and we... Uh, we're not going to be on for long are we unfortunately so this is just a short live stream just to say i do apologize and mr steve apologizes as well we are very sorry that we can't come live for the whole two hours um someone's asking which phone i'm using i'm actually using a samsung galaxy s5 so even this phone is is very old and out of date <laughs> but of course it works quite well so that's the reason why i've not changed my phone because it works quite well anyway i don't need to upgrade the phone because it still works all right however my poor computer is in need of an upgrade i i, I do wish that human beings could have upgrades wouldn't that be nice if you could just open up your body steve and then you could just take something out that didn't work very well and then just put something else back in to replace it. Maybe in the future <laughs> you can get heart transplants and kidney transplants and liver transplants. Uh, but you can't get a brain transplant yet, as far as I know. Oh, but there was uh, a there was. Do you remember that guy in Russia uh, a couple of years ago? Whatever happened to that guy that was going to have a head transplant? Do you remember that? He was going to do it last year. And then suddenly the, the news disappeared. So he stopped talking about it. But he, he was going to have his head taken off and transplanted onto another body. But whatever happened to that guy? He, he just vanished without trace. I think maybe he, he changed his mind. It didn't work. He changed his mind instead of changing the body. Of course, we were going to talk today. It's strange we've got onto this subject of upgrading. We were going to talk about... Um, cosmetic surgery and plastic surgery today uh, where you can look of course very young on the outside still with the wonders of uh, of modern surgery uh, but still be old on the inside <laughs> which is what a lot of uh, celebrities do and film stars they uh, upgrade their outside and they have uh, a facelift or uh, a nose job uh, or they have their skin peeled mm. Or they wear wigs and dye their hair and all the things that uh, some of us do in a minor way to try and keep us looking young on the outside even though we're still aging on the inside uh, some of these film stars look 20 years younger than they actually are as the result of modern surgical techniques uh, apparently in America every year there's, there's something like 140,000 I've let me go and let me go and get my oh Steve's disappeared <laughs> wait there a second 16 million sit in America just in America alone there are 16 million cosmetic surgery operations done 16 million that's a lot that's a lot of that's a lot of skin that they're cutting off people's bodies so would you ever have plastic surgery would you ever have your face changed if you were getting older would you have everything pulled back now there was an actress a famous comedian and actress called joan rivers and she was almost addicted to having plastic surgery having her body and face altered and she did it for years and years and and when she died she was quite old but but she did look quite good for her age because she had lots of plastic surgery but the problem is over the years plastic surgery will have a bad effect on your body because when you have surgery when you are cut open or if something is done to your body to change its appearance it it creates stress on your body every time you do it so the more times you do it the more stress you are creating on your body we're getting quite a lot of 
yes messages i can't read them very well because i haven't got my reading glasses i really need my reading glasses at the moment <laughs> There's lo lovely messages people saying even though we can't stay on it's nice to see you both i think i just saw one from bella then oh uh, bella hello to, bella uh, to mention uh, how how pleased she was to see us even though it's not a normal lesson and we're not going to be on for much longer today unfortunately because we can't do what we normally do but never mind Mr. Duncan is going to upgrade his computer. He's found somewhere locally that can do it for him. And, well, uh, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, all I've done is found a place that exists. I haven't done anything yet. So <laughs> I think actually last last week when I read out that Shakespeare uh, excerpt, I think I blew a few circuits. You uh, did. Did you see <laughs> Steve last week reading the the the, the, the Shakespeare passage? My goodness, he, he nearly blew the speakers on my computer to pieces. So maybe maybe it was it was you. Maybe it's your fault last it's week. My fault. Maybe it's Steve's fault. I think your computer's working at its maximum. It can't do any more. Uh, and I think it probably got a bit overheated last week. It certainly did. Um, Kara, Kara says, please mention my name. I will mention your name when, in fact, I already have mentioned your name. Yeah. So, so hello, Kara. Uh, Mr. Duncan, Mr. Steve, I hope you get a new computer soon. Well, I'm hoping to get it fixed or at least working again. It might not be completely fixed, but I would like to see it working properly. So last night I was trying to open screens on the computer on, on Google Chrome. And of course, for those who use Google, Google Chrome, you will know that it does use a lot of processor power because it's a very, uh, very processor hungry app. Mm, yes, David is saying there, David, why that uh, don't bother upgrading your computer, get a brand new one. Well, that's what I said to you. I think you should get a new one. Yes, but there is a slight problem because of the specifications of the computer behind me. Oh, yes. So th Sorry. somebody says, uh, please donate a computer to Mr. Duncan. <laughs> yes, yes if, you, if you have a brand new computer that's capable of streaming with at least three cameras. Now, that's the reason why a computer for this is very expensive. Now, the one I bought 10 years ago, uh, sorry, eight years ago in 2010 cost now wait until you hear how much it cost the computer i've got behind me cost two thousand pounds and that's eight years ago so that gives you an idea that the computer behind me is not ordinary it's not a normal computer that you find in the average house so the computer i need to upgrade to hello is also very expensive and that is the problem so all of the parts are very expensive so so once you go to a certain level of computer all of the parts inside become very very expensive so that's that's the problem just saw somebody there from afghanistan the it's it's gone uh, it's uh, the message has now gone off the screen but uh, interestingly enough we were walking uh, through uh, much wenlock yesterday and there's a uh, there's a new shop selling uh, carpets and rugs and one of the rugs that we looked at was from afghanistan so you there we go uh, that's that's uh, um, is that tala khan tala khan tala yes khan, tala yes. khan tala khan so, uh, who is watching in afghanistan and we saw some carpets yesterday that were actually made in afghanistan here in much wenlock so there's an interesting uh, observation. <laughs> you see, while Mr. Duncan's talking, I'm looking at the messages for interesting things to, uh, that people are saying that we can comment on. Uh, Indonesia is here. Mohamed Nurdin says, hello, good evening from Indonesia. By watching this video, I get a lot of English. Thank you very much. Now, next Sunday, hopefully we will be back to our normal format <laughs> so next Sunday we have we have curry night next week so we're going to show you Mr Steve and myself in the kitchen next week making curry now normally mm. on a Friday night we have curry so you will you will be able to see that next week so yes. something good to look forward to and of course you know that we enjoy eating food 
and we'll be talking about other things as well next week also hopefully we might be going outside now today the weather is is not too bad although it's very windy but it's incredibly mild it's about i can't believe it's about 14 degrees today it's so warm it's very warm in fact i've turned the heating off tomek says what kind of computer have we got it's a pc it's not an apple computer it's, a it's an I, I i can't even begin to afford <laughs> buying an apple computer what happens if i press that arrow mr duncan it'll go straight to the bottom all right okay oh yes there we go amanda says she's looking forward to us but going into the kitchen and cooking the curry next week which uh, we will definitely be doing it'll be it'll be a different curry you won't have seen this one before <laughs> this will be a very different curry in fact mr steve always likes to add his own ingredients to the curry don't you i do so uh, I, I like to make quick simple meals uh, and then uh, sort of easy meals that you buy from the shops but then spice them up a bit to make them uh, to make them a bit more interesting uh so yes we will be we will be looking at that next friday won't we saturday we'll be we'll be showing that go on you next, <laughs> next, we to be doing? next sunday we're on next sunday <laughs> and we will be uh showing how how i make my special curry so, so I see, that's interesting <laughs> see we're we're off for one one sunday and steve already forgets which day we're on so it's next sunday Ooh. not saturday Somebody's just had their trees blown down. Oh my gosh, it must be very windy where they are. It's very windy here today. It's windy, but really warm. It's like, it's like late spring. Abdallah just said he's from Jupiter. I can't believe that. <laughs> no, I have a feeling you might, you might be just telling the, a little fib there. Yeah. There is a shirt behind you that I, is so happy. Oh, yes. Can you see behind me? There is my shirt. So that is that is what I normally wear on Sunday. So there it is hanging there. What? But but sadly today, I won't be wearing the happy shirt. Sorry. What's the, uh, Abdallah, what's the uh, weather like in Jupiter at the moment? <laughs> Will you please tell us? Is it a bit cloudy? I've heard it's a very boring pl place. There's no atmosphere. <laughs> I think it's cloudy. I think it's going to be very cloudy. And uh, maybe uh, it must be a bit... Uh, uh, the atmosphere must be very difficult to breathe on uh, Jupiter, I would imagine. I think Elon I, Musk. Did I, did I just say that? Somebody says they worship Elon Musk. They worship him? Yes. Do, do you fall at his feet? Yes, because, of course, Elon Musk is a, is a multi-billionaire. Somebody wants you to mention their name. Oh, who is it? um i've gone now right there oh <laughs> my poor old eyes like... on ahmed videos says please mention my name yeah. okay then tiang nijun he is from the uk yes i am from the uk jupiter is a gas planet that yeah. is correct yes you wouldn't <laughs> be able to stand on jupiter you would just you would just disappear i because... believe it's the largest planet in our solar system although now don't they think that there might be a hard center uh i think it probably has yes but uh it's mainly gas yes i'm sure they think now that there might be just a big chunk of ice in the middle so they think that the center of jupiter might actually be very be very cold oh somebody says there you should have your own shirt brand well interestingly enough you have got some t-shirts with your uh with your name on have you not i do i don't i i have uh, some t-shirts they're down there we won't do it now because <laughs> because we have to find them and of course my studio is is in a bit of a mess oh hello is that better is that better does that look more like a sunday live stream now there we go there we go if anyone was uh, was worried that this wasn't a proper live stream there is the t-shirt that mr duncan washed uh earlier today because uh, he gets very hot and sweaty when he's doing his uh, live stream, so he has to wash this. It comes off uh, covered in sweat, soaking wet. He wrings it out and then sticks it in the washing machine. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. By the way, my, my uh, calves are aching already from standing up for... Well, I mean, we've been here 20 minutes already. And <laughs> most, of it, most of it is Mr. Steve just talking like that about nothing. Oh, so there is my a lot. <laughs> there is my T-shirt. I take that off you now. Yes, please take it off me. Oh, 
I don't feel like wearing my happy t-shirt today. I think many of us would be interested in acquiring your t-shirt. Oh, well, unfortunately, that one is very old. Can you believe that t-shirt is actually over over 10 years old? It's true. So that is a very old t-shirt. I don't know what Steve's doing behind me. He keeps revolving. <laughs> Mr. Steve is fighting with a coat hanger. I know. I know. Oh, I'm talking. I, I know what we can do. We can auction Mr. Duncan's famous T-shirt. We can auction it and put the money towards his new computer. No, of course that? not. That that T-shirt is priceless. Right, let's start the bidding. Let's start at £100. No, no one is going to buy that T-shirt. Have we any offers? I, I don't know. Somebody says $1 million. I don't $1 think so. Have you got $1 million? I don't think they have. Sam? I don't think anyone... $150. we have got $150. No, we're up to no, £150. Stop. Pounds Steve, can you stop selling my... $110. No, you're supposed to go up, not down. Uh, can you stop selling my T-shirt? No, it's for the computer. We need slightly more than that. Trust me. £150. Pounds have we got higher than £150? Pounds? Stop 150 it. £150. Pounds. Anyone at the back of the room, put your hand up. We no. want, uh, yes, we've got one, 200 pounds. We've got 200 pounds. Stop selling. Keep the bidding going. It's not work. It's not happening. Somebody You're... coming in on the phone. We've got a phone. Uh, somebody from Abu Dhabi is going to give 500 pounds. So it's 500 pounds or more for Mr. Duncan. 201. Oh, well, yes, I like that. 201. Keep going. Higher, higher. Maybe it costs 100 pounds. I will buy 2,000 pounds. That'll buy a new computer. That's what, what, what we want. Uh, Sunday chicken roast. Someone's going to give us Sunday chicken roast as well <laughs> yeah so uh, we we've got silly offers you, you, you can have this t-shirt if you want something that looks like 10 million pounds we've just had then no, no. oh one dollar thank you very yes. much uh, that I have, is probably what it's worth i have a feeling this is not a genuine auction and and those aren't <laughs> genuine offers i have a feeling one euro yes. have you got your paypal this this t-shirt we'll uh, this I might have to punch Mr. Steve in a minute just to keep him quiet. Let's give your PayPal account out this, and let's see if anyone donates. <laughs> this T-shirt is not for sale. It isn't. Trust me, this T-shirt is priceless. It's, it's one in a million. Every, per, every man has his price. Well, maybe in your world. <laughs> they do. Every man has it. You know what they say? If you offer enough money, uh, people will always take the money eventually. Unless you're, you know, really attached. Are you really attached to that T-shirt? That if someone offered you a million dollars, which uh, several people have already, uh, 10,000... No, 10 pounds. 10,000 rupee. Uh, no, that, that, <laughs> no, I don't think these are real offers, Steve. Well, let's give your PayPal account details and see if any money magically appears. Well, you can't <laughs> do that. It doesn't work like that, Steve. <laughs> you, can, you can an au do you know how an auction works i'm not sure if steve understands the concept of auction we're making up our own rules for you this don't, you don't take money Ooh, from that's the highest offer so far yes that that looks like uh, a google plex yes that that's that, that's <laughs> a billion billion dollars i don't think anyone is offering that really okay let's get off this because we're not selling we're not selling this t-shirt oh the offers are coming in yeah, thick but, and fast yes but steve they have to be real offers I don't think one one million pounds is a real offer. <laughs> well, I think that uh, we need to. I think pe all those people out there uh, giving these lovely offers to Mr. Duncan, you have to put your money where your mouth is, <laughs> which is an expression that we put up a few weeks ago. Put your money where your mouth is. Well, we are getting a few donations um, coming in. Can I can I just do something? You you hold the fort. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I'll hold the fort, which means that I'm going to carry on while Mr. Duncan, as you can see him in the background, he's going to fetch something. I'm not quite sure what. By the way, can you see uh, uh, Mr. Duncan's blackout curtains uh, in the background? They are just uh, literally old bits of cloth that he uses to keep the, uh, the light out of his studio. OK, stop talking. <laughs> stop talking, Steve. So here we go. So here we go. Some some thank yous because I have received some donations because I have a PayPal account. So thank you very much to Tetsuya Komitani, who I believe is in Japan. Also, Luca Sorano, who I believe is in Italy. And also Tias Karina, who is in Indonesia. And finally, Irina or Irina 
or Irana. So there they are. So thank you very much for your donations to my PayPal. So some of that donation will go towards my new computer. And Mr. Steve, if you could hold the fort again, I will show you what the PayPal account is for those who wish to make a donation to help me fix my fix my computer. <laughs> Give me the microphone, Mr. Duncan. Yes, he's toddling off, as we say. Uh, back to his uh, station, which is where you'd have normally seen Mr. Duncan. You're seeing Mr. Duncan's studio from a completely different angle today. <laughs> and uh, there he is. He's obsessed with the, with the microphones and the sound. I, I love the way Steve holds the microphone sort of away from him. This, this, is, this is Steve holding the microphone. Hello. Hello, I'm Mr. Steve. <laughs> yes. Ridicule Mr. Steve. Mr. Duncan likes to ridicule me live on air. He does it every week. Uh, but it's all good fun, really. Yes. Oh, he's grabbed the microphone off me again. Okay, so there it is. There is my... I hope it's the right way round. Um, so it's PayPal me slash Mr. Duncan. That's it. So there it is. It's as simple as that. You don't have to give any credit card details, but if you want to send a small donation, that will help towards getting this stupid computer fixed. I think, uh, looking at your computer, uh, there is a lot of dust on the computer so I think it needs a good a good hoover a good vacuum to get rid of the dust uh, because it's on all the time Mr Duncan leaves his computer on 24 7 it's uh, I think it's it, 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 I would think it's gonna burst into flame in the middle of the night that's because I live uh, I live in front of that computer I'm always editing or filming or doing something or researching something or writing something typing something getting some information from somewhere. So that computer for the last eight years has been on virtually all the time. He never switches it off. And I want to clear something up here because Mr. Duncan says, uh, oh, you don't have to turn computers off. You can, they're designed to be left on all the time. So anybody, right, we want opinion. Should you switch your computer off when you go to bed at night? Computers so are designed, many on. computers are designed to stay on for, for many, many hours, especially if you have a very, very good motor, a very good power supply. That's what I actually me meant to say. If you have a good power supply, then you can, what's Somebody that? You said there, you shouldn't sell your old clothes because it's got your positive and negative energy in there. Uh, I can't pronounce the name. That is from, that is from, Conil. Conil. Hussein over. Oh, I see. I, I'm not sure. Well, I, I don't have much positive energy to lose, to be honest. <laughs> well, that's it. Uh, that's even more reason to buy Mr. Duncan's uh, T-shirt because uh, it's got all his positive energy in there from all the live streams. Imagine how much English you could learn that's soaked into that T-shirt. All those years of teaching English. You would become a, a professor of English overnight if you had that T-shirt. I don't think it works like that. Or else, well, what about people that go to, to charity shops and buy second-hand clothing? So that means when they buy the clothing from that shop, they, they will become like superhuman. Uh, well, most, most of the uh, clothes sold in charity shops are from people who've died. So uh, I don't really want to uh, have the negative energy of... Uh, imagine if you bought a shirt... Uh, or a coat of somebody that had just died. Well, well, would you know? what what would happen? You'd probably end up having your 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 clothing haunted. You might find the coat or the shirt floating around the house at night, helping well, helping itself to some biscuits in the kitchen. Mr. Duncan's uh, mother uh, bought a settee Ooh. yes i think we'll uh, leave that one there <laughs> it didn't okay Mr. Duncan no, no. Want me to tell yes <laughs> i think that's a story that's a story that we won't go into but but you have had lots of people give clothing to you from uh -huh. from husbands or or people who've died you've got oh yes you've got a shirt yes. and also your your piano upstairs was owned by one of your friends who died Yes, when it comes to, when it comes to clothes, you see, I haven't got a problem wearing dead people's clothes. Uh, well, my father died about uh, oh, I think it's about six or seven years ago now, and he got lots of shoes, and th and I'm still wearing some of his shoes because we've got exactly the same size feet, and uh, well, not now. I, 
I didn't have a problem with that. So uh, I wore daddy as a very nice shoes and did you just say uh, did you just say daddy then daddy no, no i said dad my father you said daddy has some nice shoes i did not say that at all he said daddy no, i didn't mr steve <laughs> said daddy so uh, i hadn't got a problem at all uh wearing uh, my father's uh, uh clothes uh well actually when i say clothes it was just shoes um so yeah i've got no problem with that what what else were you uh suggesting to me that i'd uh, oh yes somebody <laughs> i i'm in this choir as i've mentioned before hmm. i never said daddy amanda it was mr Duncan. he did say daddy um, uh, look uh, play, play it back he said my daddy has some nice shoes and uh somebody gave me a shirt there was somebody in the choir and he used to he used to sit by me and he died tragically had a heart attack and uh Sorry, his wife, so he died next to you no not during the concert uh he is, is your singing that bad uh thank you mr duncan uh so his wife because i knew him quite well it was very sad his wife gave me the shirt that he used to uh wear during a concert and she wanted me to have it and i i wore it to a few concerts and so so she saw me wearing her dud dead husband's uh, shirt which was uh, a bit strange i gave it a good wash uh, beforehand but uh, yeah okay i, I have to ask this question it, it was just a white shirt how did she know it was her dead husband's shirt oh well it was a dress a dress shirt a special shirt that you wear uh, with a dinner jacket so it was a bit fancy it had sort of uh, it's a dinner jacket shirt uh, you would call it so it's it was uh, what, what you're trying shirt. to say it, it was very individual yes it's the it's the, the the kind of shirt that you wear with under a dinner jacket uh, and you put cufflinks, uh, uh, cufflinks on it cufflinks on the cuffs i would have i would have loved dress, to have... a dress shirt you would call it dress shirt so it's I, sort of got flowery yes, bits I, down the i think flowery sort of flowery. ornate I can go and fetch mine upstairs and oh, show you. Oh, please. Today. No no one today wants to see a dead person's shirt. Trust me. But I, uh, I including me. A, I, I, don't, I don't want to see it either, to be honest. So <laughs> I still... I would have loved to have been there, though. This conversation that, that Steve's there dressed up very smartly. And this lady says, Oh, I see you're wearing my dead husband's shirt. What time is it, is it in England now, somebody just said. Yes, that's right. It is. It's 14.37. Yes, it is now. Yes, it's just coming up to 20 minutes to three o'clock. Now, normally we would be here live anyway, but normally I'd be sitting over there and we'd be having a lot of fun with English. So unfortunately today, today we oh. are oh. not because we have some problems with the computer. Yes. Oh, there we go. Somebody's saying that uh, Gillian has said her computer died three times and she saved it. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't, my father, I'm hoping if he's looking down, he's quite pleased that I'm wearing his old shoes. Um, so, yes, well, I might find out one day. <laughs> how, how do you know he's not looking up? Well, I don't know. But we always say looking down, don't we? So uh, there we go. I'm assuming he's gone to heaven. <laughs> he might be, he might be downstairs. Well, there's a new, oh, that word uh, uh, looks like no, a... That, that okay okay then we have lots of fun with english today oh thank you eugene now this is a very unusual live stream because um we have some problems with the computer and because of that i am now streaming on the mobile phone eight and a half the shoe size if anyone wants to know 38 inch chest shirt what? Sorry, are you are you asking people to send you their clothes? Actually, this is quite good today because it gives us an opportunity to reply to virtually all the comments that are coming up because usually we don't have time to do that. So it's quite interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I have a feeling maybe during the week we could do this. So maybe on a Wednesday evening or a Thursday evening, we could actually do a mobile live stream and still do the Sunday live stream as well. So maybe the, the, the one in the week could be like this. And then maybe on Sunday, we could do the, 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 the long one. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's a good idea? Where we, where, where we reply more to the comments that people are making, because we don't normally have time to do that. Oh, we're getting lots of yeses. Uh, people saying that they would like us to, to do that and comment on and answer questions from, uh, from your viewers. 
I'd love it. I think we've got a very positive uh, uh, response there. Look at that. So, so out of adversity, we actually find something. No, says <laughs> something positive. <laughs> one no. So Le far. Liam says no, but then it doesn't matter. That's just one person. It it looks to me as if lots of people would like to see us during the week. Maybe we could do something like this, just standing up and talking very casually. Uh, somebody just says we need a store of products to buy with Mr. Duncan's name on. Would anyone no, he, would Leanne anyone just would would, so. would anyone buy that? I <laughs> don't seem lean away there. I don't yes, because you, <laughs> I'm trying to talk. Liam was said he was kidding, which I thought he was. He said no Oh uh, Liam was kidding, that's all right then. I would like to buy a bubble head, says uh, Vienna. <laughs> well head? you mean that's no way to talk about Mr Steve. <laughs> what are you saying? You say Mr Steve has a bubble head. Fix your computer, you useless man, <laughs> said somebody. Unfortunately, it, uh, we didn't have time to fix it because it went wrong not very long before uh, we were going to go out live and uh, it was impossible to, uh, uh, to, to fix it that quickly. Well, what people don't realise is the same thing happened last week and I was able to fix it. I think, where, where's Steve going? What, do, do, I think Steve needs a wee. No, I do not. <laughs> I went for a... W I, no, I, I'm having one right now. You can't tell, but uh, I'm... No, uh, true. The, Steve is actually weeing at the moment on the floor in the studio. Yes, I put uh, incontinent pads on uh, before uh, the show starts so that I don't... Uh, if I get caught, I don't have to leave the studio. I'm only joking. Uh, you so I, I love the way, I love the way Steve the spends room. ages making a joke and then he goes, I'm only joking. Well, obviously, I am joking. I don't want people to think I'm wearing incontinent pads. Well, you are getting on a bit, Steve. You know, you know what happens when you get older. You can't, you can't control your wee wee. And, and even if, and there. even if you laugh, a little bit of wee wee will come out. Saigo Afrida says, "Ha ha, little Stevie baby." Thank you for that, S Stevie baby. Oh, I see. <laughs> I think, I think you've pulled. I think someone fancies you, Steve. Well. Uh, there's no picture, so I can't say whether I fancy them back. Pedro asks, what was your father's name? His name was David, which is my middle name. Oh. So, David, yes, which I think is quite a biblical name. Actually, mine is Stephen. That's quite a, quite a biblical name as well. So, uh, you can tell my parents were quite religious because uh, they've given me two quite religious biblical names. Uh, yes, Stephen was a martyr uh, in the Bible, um, and I don't know what David did. Oh, didn't he beat Goliath? That's it. He uh, he slay, slayed Goliath, didn't he? But whether that was in the Bible or not, I don't know. Was it? Welcome to Sunday Religious Talk <laughs> with <laughs> the Reverend Mr. Steve. King David, that's it, King David. David and Goliath, is that anything to do with the Bible? I can't remember. <laughs> it's definitely to do with the Bible. Uh, yes, of course, David, David threw the big rock at Goliath and knocked him over. That must have been in the Old Testament. Anyway, we're not going to get religious. <laughs> well, it's, it's a bit too late to say that. Uh, Kong David, yes. I think that means King David, yes. <laughs> yes, so suddenly we've gone... We don't want to talk about religion because that's a very contentious subject a subject that could cause uh, contention, i.e. could cause argument and discourse and uh, bad feelings, so we're not going to talk about religion. Well, oh, now yeah. you've said all that, I think so, yes. <laughs> Mr Duncan's father's name is Brian. Is it, it, is, it? it is true. My, my father's oh. name is, is one of the most interesting names in the English language. Brian. Yes, somebody says... Don't talk about religion or politics. You're absolutely right, because it will surely cause argument and discourse. There's enough of that going on in the world already. Yes. Do you know, I'm sick to death of watching the news. Uh, we were talking about this the other night, weren't we? Um, about the news. Most of the, of the news, if you watch... It's nothing to do with with actually your individual lives. It's it's 
do you really need to start knowing who's been blown up here, there and everywhere or whether there's a hurricane in, in another country? It all just drags you all down. I think Mr Duncan is asking me to hold the microphone. I'm not sure what he's doing actually. Fake news. Yes, fake news. There is a lot of fake news everywhere. And I think uh, even though I might not be a particular fan of President Trump, I think he is very right in the fact that there's a lot of fake news where are you going, Mr. Duncan? I don't know what he's doing on his knees. I really don't want to know. Uh, but yes, where are you, Mr. Duncan? This is what people, don't, what people don't realise is this is my real height. This is how tall I am, really, in real life. Now, normally I have to stand on a box, you see. But, but this is actually how tall I really am. Not, not many people realise this. This is, this is a big secret actually revealed that I'm only four foot tall. Oh, somebody says that you're tired. I, I think, uh, are you tired, Mr. Duncan? You can't be because you know what, you what, I, what I was actually doing was desperately trying to change the subject before it went too deep. I can't believe, you can't believe what? That I'm only three foot tall <laughs> or How four foot. Is Mr. Duncan? No, actually, I am over six feet tall. Six foot. Only yeah. just. I'm much taller than Mr. Steve. Can you see how tall I am? See, so, yeah, I'm much, much taller than you. <laughs> oh, my calves are really hurting. Uh, because Apparently, we... Mr. Steve is having trouble with his baby cows. <sighs> calves. Yes, calves. Ca aren't, aren't calves? They're, they're baby cows, aren't they? Yes, that's, that is a, another use of that word. How tall am I? I'm five foot nine and a half. You what? I'm You're, five foot nine and a half. There is no way on earth that you are five foot nine and a half. I'm afraid I am, Mr. Duncan. Five five foot six, maybe. <laughs> I'm not. My sister's five feet. Well, I won't. Better not. She doesn't like me talking about her live. I don't think. I would not give reveal any details about my family members. But I. Uh... Kamal says, "Please mention my name." Hello, Kamal. Uh, so what time is it there? We've already uh, discussed that one. It uh, must be coming up to... It's just gone a quarter to three on a Sunday afternoon. It's Mr. Duncan, that's me, and Mr. Steve. Unfortunately, there is no full live stream today because my computer has decided to, to die. May maybe my computer will give you one of its old shirts to wear because now my computer is dead. And Mr. Steve likes collecting <laughs> dead, dead people's clothing. I think the 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 the, the view that people have from your camera must be very different. I mean, it must look very different to, than normal. You've got those horrible-looking blackouts on the window. Blackouts. You keep yeah. saying blackouts. That doesn't sound very good. That's not going to translate very well on on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I hope it doesn't say blacks out. No, blackout. Well, you, you shouldn't have said that, Mr. Duncan. It just means something that covers the windows to stop the light coming in. OK, a so blackout. A, a blackout. A blackout is something that stops the light from coming in. Yes, my, my studio is all quiet. Everything is switched off. There is nothing sadder than an empty, dead studio. So Carmen. I'm saying the name Carmen. Carmen. Isn't that an opera? Carmen Miranda as well. Carmen Miranda was a famous singer. I, 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 I love you very much. I normally, you can probably see Mr. Duncan's normally sitting there. And I'm normally sitting here. Uh, so that gives you a different angle. Uh, uh, bli blinds, yes, that would be another word for blackouts. But, but well, blinds are slightly different. A blind is just something you pull down. Uh, over your window at night it's not necessarily cutting all the light out something that you put up on your windows specifically just to cut all the light out is called a, a blackout we normally use a blind for privacy privacy so if you want yes. some privacy you pull the blind down so people can't see what you are doing please mention my name or oh, i will if i can actually read it uh shazayib Shazayib Shabia says, please mention 
my name. I, I really do need my reading glasses. I, I think I'm going to get my reading glasses. Celio, Just a moment. Celio says, why don't we live stream more than once a week? Uh, well, that is something that we are planning to do. And we have we have spoken about it before because uh, uh, and it's interesting that out of this adversity today, we've asked, would uh, people like us to come on in the week and do a slightly different live stream where we're interacting more with uh, you viewers that are watching and answering your questions because normally we don't have time to do that and we had a very positive um, yes uh, I think we had at least about a dozen yeses uh, Mr Duncan is obsessed with microphones and the sound as you probably noticed uh, in uh, <laughs> yes was last week when Mr Steve put makeup all over my face he put lipstick on my face now I said to him Hello, Harry. I said Mr Steve don't put any makeup don't put any lipstick on my lips somebody just saw your socks your stripy socks, Mr. Duncan. My socks are lovely. Leave my socks alone. OK, I've got my reading glasses on now. I can see everything perfectly just to show how old I am getting. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, uh, Celio is here. Can you talk Arabic? I can't. I don't speak Arabic at all. The only a Arabic I know is algebra. How oh, right, algebra. <laughs> Yes, we did make a backup of the information. Yes, it's very sad when you have to say goodbye to the computer. That's why I don't want to get rid of it. I want to actually upgrade it. So most of the things inside the computer will actually stay there. So all I really need to change is, is the motherboard and the graphic card and also the processor. Of course, the processor is the most expensive part of a computer. So you can pay up to seven or eight hundred pounds just for the processor so how far do we get with the donations for your uh, uh for the computer when we're going to give away that t-shirt we're not giving away the t look can, can i just say now can i just say now we are not giving away the t-shirt that is my lovely smiley face t-shirt that is one of a kind it's priceless Somebody thinks you're beautiful there. Me? Mm. Mr. Duncan, you are beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. These We've are my a... these are my lovely glasses, you see. We've got a worm greeting. I think you mean warm greeting, uh, <laughs> a worm greeting. A worm greeting What's is this. Worm greeting? Hello. <laughs> hello. My name is Mr. Worm, and I'm saying hello to you all. Yes, this is a worm greeting. Hello. Somebody just asked how tall... Pierre wants to know how tall we are. We've just said that. You're about six foot and I'm five nine and a half. That it's, half an inch is very important. It's interesting how everyone is interested in our, in our bodies. I don't know oh, why. Who's got excellent skin, me or, or Mr Duncan? I have. Sure it's, it's me. me. I've, got me. I've got lovely skin. He hasn't. He spent too much time in the sun. That's rubbish. He, somebody just said you could sell me. I don't think anyone would offer any money for you. I'm a bit past it now. Maybe when I was younger and I had hair. The only place you're going, Steve, is the scrap heap. <laughs> Mohammed says, I really want you to make... Oh, it's got, got off the screen again. You tap it. I want you to mention my name. Mohammed Kassab. There we go. We've mentioned your name there. I said you got it from Mr. Steve for a change. Mr. Steve mentioned oh, you. Both got excellent skin, says Pedro. Yes, you are, you are very good teachers and also very handsome. I don't know why suddenly everyone is interested in our appearance. Handsome. Maybe I don't know what you mean. No, nor do I. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that T-shirt is priceless, says Montagnola. Yes, that T-shirt is priceless because... It looks like Mr. Steve. Yes, it does look a bit like Mr. Steve, the smiley face over there. It does look like Mr. Steve. I think you're right. Do you use Windows or Mac or Linux? I don't use a Mac computer because they're too expensive. Um, I have a Windows computer. Currently, I'm running Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. So that's another thing that makes everything more expensive. So as soon as you upgrade to anything that's very high spec, as I said earlier, the computer behind me cost £2,000, and that was eight years ago. So you can see now why 
these things are so expensive hello from germany oh hello germany let me just say hello to germany i'm a little i'm a little late why are you in your cellar the reason why we are here like this is because my computer has broken down so we are using the mobile phone yes have you got that government sorted out yet in uh, Germany? That's a uh, few problems there. I think. Isn't, isn't yeah. that, that there is a sort of coalition taking place now in Germany? And I think Merkel is trying to come to some sort of arrangement because she's had to she's had to make a deal, hasn't she? And I don't think she's very happy about it. But then again, Merkel never looks happy. She always looks so so unhappy. Yes, but she's such a. Uh, a trusted steadfast leader i always feel like i want uh, to go up behind merkel and give her a little tickle to tickle her I, i'm sure she's got a lovely laugh yes she puts on a brave face but then she uh, she is the sort of leader of europe in a way isn't she um so uh, let, let's hope she stays in power assuming you wanted to i don't know <laughs> letitia says letitia says your skin is very white <laughs> well we haven't got the proper lights on and of course we haven't seen the sun for about four months because it's winter here it's winter here so so and, uh, by by the time spring comes we, you can actually see right through us you can see our bones and, and internal organs so by the time spring comes we are we are literally opaque opaque that's a great word opaque if something is opaque it means you can see through it that's right and uh I've got nothing to say at this point. <laughs> wow. That might be the first time ever in the history of the universe that Mr. Steve has nothing to say. Mm. Well, um, I'm thinking of something desperate to say here. I'll just keep talking so that people are, are listening to the, uh, the, the English as we are speaking now. But, uh... So what I've got to do is up update my operating system to Windows 10 professional 64-bit so I'm sure there are people here. Mohammed saying he met with somebody from Wolves. Where? I, who? Last night I met with people who from W O L E S says met Wales. I'm going to guess that's Wales. Oh. Wales is very near to us. We can see Wales just over there through our window. We can. We can see the Welsh hills from here. Uh, which uh, look very nice. We can't see them today because it's a bit, uh, a bit overcast. Ashi Hashino says it is three minutes to midnight. So in Japan, yeah. it is coming up to tomorrow. So I hope you have a good first few minutes of tomorrow. Uh, Hashino watching in, I think, in Japan. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Thanks for your lessons. Hello, Hanain who is watching in Algeria. Reply and answer. What are the differences? Well, a reply is an answer. And an answer is a reply. It's just another way of expressing it. Why don't you organize a great meeting in England? Well, of course, many of my viewers are all around the world in many different places. So I think it would be very difficult for some people to actually come all the way to England to meet me here maybe i could come to you <laughs> What's that? somebody wants to know um do you know any other languages uh i can't read the name there the, the name is Kunul. Kunul. hello again Kunul. uh do you know any other languages i can speak some chinese because i used to live in china and most people in england can speak a bit of french because that's always the second language that we learn here uh just enough to get by i would say there is someone from france right now the french leo hello the french leo and a big bonjour bonjour to you comment allez-vous monsieur bien je m'appelle mr steve écoute écoute <laughs> i think that's enough of that écoute means listen écoute listen i always remember that my french teacher at school always saying écoute to me Telling me to listen more carefully. Oh. Well, yes. Indonesia. Oh, Brazil. Oh, I don't know if we've had anyone from Brazil before. I'd love to go to Brazil. We have lots of people watching in Brazil. Do we? I'd love to go to Brazil. We're, one of my largest audiences is in Brazil. H have, you just, have you just arrived here, Steve? Yes, but I, I, I never get to see the screen where everyone's names are coming up. I'm just stuck in this seat in the corner. Oh, I see. And I can't see anything, so yes. 
an invite from Brazil would be very nice. I would love to visit Brazil. What is the model of your system, asks Atif. Well, the model isn't a model because I had the computer made for me. It was custom built because I needed it for a specific reason, and that was to edit videos. So when that was built for me eight years ago, the, the, the technology that was around then is very different from what is around now of course you can do lots of uh, amazing things so i need a computer now that i can live stream and also i need to connect maybe three or four cameras to the computer and of course it needs to stream over the internet and i still need to be able to edit videos so i need a very high specification upgrade you do indeed mr duncan and uh, you are going to get it and uh uh, hopefully by next week but we'll get something going for next week mr duncan's very resourceful well i'm going to contact someone tomorrow and just to find out how much it will cost and and if we can't do it next week we will do this again so we do have a backup plan the backup plan is to actually do this again on the mobile phone we are coming up to one hour already can you believe it can't believe that we've been talking for an hour i thought we were only going to mr duncan said we'll just go on for five minutes for a quick apology and uh, and basically say it'll be business as usual next week well i always do this i always say that i always say that <laughs> Did you notice the way he cut me off then? And again. He has got the uh, the microphone. So I've, I have control. I just have to shout. Shout. How can, you tell if the, how can you tell if the level, level is right here? Oh, the level is right. Don't worry, baby. Okay. One of the good things about doing it through the mobile phone is you have a lovely thing called automatic compression. So the sound is always compressed at a certain level so it's very hard to actually distort or become too loud so that's one of the the good things about streaming on a mobile phone is they have this lovely uh, form of compression that allows you to to not be uh, too Muhammad, loud Mohammed Bar says hello from Turkey yes we've been to Turkey we've been to Turkey twice we have, we have indeed and you've done a lesson about Turkey uh, so if you don't know about that, uh, oh yes, someone's saying uh, bonjour, thank you very much for that. Uh, yes, so we, yes. We, we did a lesson in Turkey, didn't we, all about uh, going on holiday. And so there is an actual lesson on my YouTube channel all about going on holiday. And also you will see some of the sights and hear some of the sounds of Turkey. Do I know Pashto language? I don't know what that is, no. What is Pashto language? Perhaps you could tell us. Uh, we'd like to know what that is. Uh, Steve Lim says, uh, I speak some Chinese too. Well, maybe Steve Lin might be Chinese yes. because because I think Lin sounds like a Chinese name. Uh, I apologize, apologize if I'm wrong, but uh, I think maybe that is a Chinese name. Uh, ni hao, ni hao ma, <laughs> wo shi, Mr. Duncan. Or Laoshur, Laoshur Duncan. Is somebody just saying that to you now? Laoshur means teacher. Okay. <laughs> Warshur. Laoshur. Lao. Uh, war. Warshur. I am, or my name is Duncan. I did know some uh, Russian at one point because when I was when I was uh, about ten, we had a program in the UK that was uh, telling us all how to speak Russian. It was on it every week. Uh, and it was uh, very interesting. Uh, but I can't remember anything right at this moment. It must have had a really big impact. Desvidania, Doshvidania. I think that's a Russian word. But what, what does it mean? No idea. I think it yeah, means yeah, you, you might be missing the point of learning a second language. You, you have to know what it means. You can't, was, you can't just say the words. I was ten at the time. OK, that's Mr. Steve's excuse. Lots of people now are sending messages. This is England, a film. Uh, this is England, a film, my favourite one. Oh, do you mean the title of the film is This is England? Yes, I think I know which one you mean. Do you know some Spanish? I don't know any Spanish, to be honest. Uh, hola. I'm sure that's Ola. Spanish, Ola. A Spanish. Uh, Ola. <laughs> Who's the famous uh, tennis player uh, from uh, from Spain? 
I don't know. You've got a very famous uh, tennis player whose name I can't remember right now. Uh, well, Ro Roger Federer, Roger Federer, talking of tennis, he, he, he actually won the Australian Masters. So he's won after, after the, the was, it, was it the guy from China? Miss, uh, Chung was his name. And he, he was sadly, uh, well, he, he had to retire because he had blisters on his feet. So that was very sad. But Roger Federer has once again won the Australian Masters. I should think all that running around on a tennis court will give you uh, blisters on your feet, but you'd think they'd have a way of, uh, of protecting themselves for that. Blisters on your feet, that's a bit of an excuse. It sounds like an excuse, that does. I mean, you're, you're bound to get blisters on your feet if you're playing tennis. I mean, oh, Rafael, yeah. Rafael Nadal. That's it, Nadal. Nadal, Rafael. Yeah, Actually, he has great legs. I don't know why. I think Rafael N Nadal has the most amazing legs. I, I don't know why. When he's playing, it's like mesmerizing. I don't know why. There's no reason, but I just think he, he has the most amazing legs. Uh, just, just ignore what I just said there. Ignore it. Why do I not wear a hat? Yes, well, I could wear a hat, uh, but I don't want to compete with Mr. Duncan with wearing a hat. If we both wear a hat, you see, it will look like we're both trying to look the same. So what we have is an opposite. So Mr. Steve has no hat, and I have a hat. Yes. There. Well, there we go. We've all got to be individual and different. Do I speak Arabic? No. Me neither. Uh, no, I don't, unfortunately. Uh, oh, yes. A teacher from uh, Brazil. Ah, there we go. You could, uh, you could be invited over to Brazil. Um, Americana Brazil from uh, Americana and Brazil. I wonder where that is. That's, I want to go to Brazil. Somebody invite me. I want an all expenses paid trip to Brazil. So I think Mr. Steve is looking for, for a free holiday. The difference between uh, a hat and a cap, uh, somebody has said there. A hat normally covers the whole of your head. So normally a hat will cover the whole of your head. Uh, and a cap just covers the, the top and mainly the front because a cap is designed to protect your eyes from, from the sunlight. That's correct, Mr. Duncan. So normally, I do, could you describe a cap as a type of hat? Yes, well, well hat can also be generic. So when, when a word is generic, it means it covers many, many things. So you could describe this, you can describe this as a hat or... If you want to be very specific, you say a cap or maybe baseball cap, because, of course, this cap, this type of cap was created for people who were we who were playing sport. Interesting. Uh, I think it was Rita then said that uh, uh, Americana is, in fact, a city in Brazil. So that's cleared that up. Thank you very much for that. Uh, there was. A, oh, yes. Yeah, somebody said there. English uh, accent is very difficult than American accent. How is it? Do, do you mean to understand or to, to actually learn? Because some people say that it's easier to, to speak American English. But actually, I think both are just as hard if you're starting from the beginning. Yes, I, yes. I mean, we can, we can pretend to do an American accent. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> Hi there. But, uh, Yes, I think, oh, the, here, here we could touch on a, on a very controversial subject here. What's more controversial, talking about religion, talking about politics, or talking about whether you should speak in an English or an American accent? <laughs> uh, but uh, obviously, we are going to say speak in an English accent, because we are, Eng I think if you speak in an English accent, uh, you're never going to upset anyone. I think if you speak in an American accent, uh, accent english there's always a chance that you could upset people with that accent what, you won't what, what what do you mean upset what do you mean some people don't like to hear the american accent i think so i i, I mean it's it's nice to to people like to see hear the american accent in films but to us when americans well, well, let's explain this so when americans yeah. come over to england <laughs> Mr. Duncan's going off the screen. I'm not being controversial. I'm just speaking as to how I I British English people feel. When American people come over to England, uh, we find their accent very annoying. 
Uh, this is true, isn't it, Mr. Duncan? He's walked out of the room, but uh, it's we do. We find we find the American accent annoying. So, if you're going to learn English, then you don't want to annoy people. No one's ever annoyed with the British accent. When you go to America, they love the British accent. So, learn uh, English. Learn it in an English language because you won't annoy anyone. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. And Mr. Duncan has come. That's very controversial. Perhaps I should have talked about religion. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. I, th I think religion was probably a better subject than, than what you've just come out with there. OK. I love your accents, Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve. Also, I like the American accent. I yes. think actually... It doesn't really matter. To be honest with you, the, the subject Ooh. of accents... Oh, I've got a top hat. Oh, that's good. Is, is that to cover your head? Possibly, possibly. The problem with accents is it's always a very controversial subject. Oh, I think Steve is definitely going for a wee. Are you going for a wee, Steve? Yes, he just said he's going for a wee. He says, I'm bursting. I really do need a wee wee right now. I need to wee wee straight away. I don't know where he's gone. I'm on my own now. Mr. Steve, can you please sing a song? Well, Mr. Steve can sing a song, but we have to make sure that it's not in copyright or else YouTube will come around and they will punch me in the face again and again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Steve, that was quick, Steve. That was a very quick wee wee. I didn't go for a wee wee, Mr. Duncan. I think Mr. Steve had a wee wee. I've got a selection of hats here. Hats, OK. Which I'm now going to model. Mr. Steve is now going to show you some hats. Now, I think what he's going to do is ask which one you like the most. Is that what you're going to do? So there's the first hat. So what do you think this hat is used for? Uh, covering your head. Mr. Duncan, don't be silly, Mr. Duncan. So this is a, an outdoor hat designed to keep the sun off you. So it's, it's something I wear when I'm out walking. So why is that important? Uh, because you, you, when you're walking, you don't want the sun on your face. It's, it's annoying. And this will protect your neck, your ears and your face from the direct sun. It's also waterproof. And I can put these... Uh, these on there so that when it's windy you see uh, the hat will stay on so this is in fact called is anyone out there watching from canada because if they are this is called a tilly hat tilly show it i l l it show it to the camera there we go we have we have a camera you see these things so there it is a tilly hat now there is something very interesting about this hat because yes. Apparently, the, the people who make this hat guarantee that if you lose this hat, they will give you another one for free. They do. I, I think that's amazing. So if you lose this hat, if you lose it, if you are walking along the road or on a boat and it blows away like that, you can actually go to Tilly or write to the company and they will give you a free hat to replace the one to replace the one you lost it's amazing i'll never find that now you'll never find that it's okay you could get another one for free steve don't worry okay this next one what what is going Here's on the here next one there we go yeah you dirty rad <laughs> this is my gangster hat this is mr steve this is mr steve now pretending to be a gangster well not really i actually this was for a show so this isn't something I would wear out and about. It's, uh, you would call this, um, whatever hat would you call it? A stupid it? hat? It's, uh, I don't know what sort of a hat you would call it, but it's, uh, it, I, I wore it in a show. I can't remember what it was for now. It looks like a, it's, it reminds me of a fedora. It, yes, look, it looks a bit, right it looks a bit like a fedora. Gangster hat. It's a gangster hat. I don't think they call them no, gangster. No, I don't think, no. I don't think gangster hat is the proper expression. I think it's a, it looks a bit like a fedora. There we go. So I, that's another hat in my collection. That's two. <laughs> this is not a very big collection, by the way. How about this one? I have no words. 
Well, this again is a hat that you would wear if you want to look stupid on the beach. <laughs> this is a beach hat, a summer hat, exactly. And uh, you would wear this to keep the sun off even more so than the other. This, this would keep the sun off your entire body. I think this is Mexican. I think this is a Mexican hat or a Spanish hat. I look like a farmer. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm farming the land. What? That's a Ooh, farmer's sorry. Accent. Is that a farmer's accent or a pirate? Oh, that's got the messages going. You sound like a pirate. A pirate? No, I'm I'm a farmer and I'm out tilling the soil. You still sound and, like a pirate. Uh, feeding my cows. Do you have a cowboy hat? I actually bought Oh, it's Moroccan. It's made of it's made of grass. Yes, uh, so I think you've been. I think maybe you've been smoking some of that. Oh, thanks, Mr. Duncan. <laughs> oh yes, that well. So that's that hat, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I bought this years ago when I was on holiday, but there's no lining on the inside. There's no lining, which means it's quite uncomfortable. It scratches on your head. It's made of grass. That, that must have been made by hand. It's quite a, it's quite a, a lovely hat, but I think it's actually a woman's hat. So I, I thought it looks a bit... Um, I don't mean to be offensive, but I think it looks a little bit Mexican as well. Because Mexican hats... I know that not everyone in Mexico wears a sombrero, but it does look a little bit like a sombrero. Because the idea of a sombrero is to keep the sun off your face because exactly what that's for oh my gosh what uh, are you doing steve i've no words yes yeah, so this is my sort of going out in the winter keeping my head you look like you look like the village idiot thank you three colors i've actually got another one do you smoke cigarettes no we don't smoke i don't smoke and nor does steve there we go that one's got uh, different colors it looks the same I've got a large range of hats, as you can as you can uh, see. I don't. I don't think five hats is a large range. <laughs> I think if you if you had a thousand hats, maybe. How about that one? That looks very familiar. Okay. That looks very familiar. Oh, I've got Mr. Duncan's hat on now. He's wearing my hat. He. I'm surprised he's letting me do this. I'm surprised I'm letting you do this. It's a bit smelly. <laughs> uh, never mind. Well, what do you think? Yes, it suits you. Both of us wearing uh, hats, Adidas hats. Yes, some people think that we are actually sponsored by Adidas, but we're not. I wish, I wish they, uh, they would. You guys came live to tell us that you are not able to come live and that you are sorry. That's a very good one. Thank you, Tomek. Yes, there is something strangely ironic about the fact that we can't appear live today, but we are here live to tell you that we can't appear live. I can't yes. believe we've been on for this long. How about if I do this? Do I look uh, do I look youthful when if I do that? You look like a street a street artist. You, you should be doing okay. a little bit of break dancing I look, now. I look about uh, eighteen now. Now I put the hat round the other way. Eighteen. Uh, and sometimes it's sort of like that as well, isn't it? At the side, like that. There we go. What it, what? Can I get away with that, do you think, if I went out like I don't that? think you could get away with that at all. I, I, I think I, I like that. I like that look. That's me. Already, I can, I can hear people dialing the fashion police on their phones. No. There, there is a man wearing a hat back to front. Let's and see what and the comments are. it looks dreadful. <laughs> you guys came to tell us that you're... Do I look 18 with the hat round this way? Uh, everyone's saying no. Ooh, somebody says they adore bald heads. Belarusia. Belarusia says, I love bald heads. We well, of look. course, there are lots of famous people who are bald. There, uh, there, uh, do you remember a few weeks ago, Steve, we, we actually had a contest where we asked people watching to... <laughs> yeah, I'm a rapper. ...to guess <laughs> who the bald heads belong to. Yes, we did. Yes. None and, of them were mine. Well, no, none of them were yours. No, your, yours would have been too easy, you see, because people know what your head looks like. Yes, you look eight, eight again, not 18. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Vina AR, why are you interested in them? 
what do you mean the hats well i think hats are very fun hats go, are that that looks much better there we go i've got the hair and now i can wear it that way round and uh there we go 18 again how about that um i'm going out i'm going to uh no i wasn't gonna, i'm not going to say what i was about to say there <laughs> uh, well, you know what i i think we should do one one saturday this is what i want to do one weekend one saturday we should go into into the town with our wigs Wear our wigs. That's my favourite. And see it. See if anyone notices. I know. I'll wear them all together. Steve's going to put all of the hats on at the same time. I don't know why. Put that one on there. Mr. Steve, do you play? Oh, do you play baseball? No, we don't. We don't play baseball here. There we go. So I've got them all on now. What do you think? Will this look take off? Do you think? Will it take off? I, th I think they'll be taking you away in a minute to the to the local mental hospital. <laughs> Much better. Yes, thank you. But I think that needs to be round the other way like that. There we go. Oh, it, oh it's falling off. Appar well, I found it funny. Well, yes, you are. You are in the minority there, Steve. Luciano says, I'm very jealous of your hats. Really? Do, do they have hats where you are? I, excuse me. I just need to make a few adjustments here. <laughs> uh, there we go. And that one there. Needs a little, uh, there we go. Uh, he, he'll be performing a bit better now. What shall I do with these? Hang on, uh, you just need uh, to trim a bit of nose hair. There, there we go. That's better. And a little bit in there. There we go. I just saw some nose hair and I, th I, I thought it didn't look very nice. It needed trimming off. You're s Mr. Steve's saying that I have very long nose hair. I, I don't understand what just oh, happened wow. there. I'm, s I'm very sorry about what just happened there. Yes, well, like Anto. Anto is going. I think Anto is going to have a lie down in a dark room to recover for, for, from all of this. Uh, like the two idiots from across the street. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you, Mohammed. <laughs> uh, Mohammed says we are like two idiots across the street. Thank you very much. That's very I'm lovely. Always being an idiot. Yes, we, we, we are professional idiots. It, it actually has it on my CV. Whenever I go to a, a new employer, I always show them my CV. And at the top, it says professional idiot. Khalid says, do you love soccer? Well, the answer to that is uh, no. We don't follow soccer. We don't follow football. Uh, football. I used to like rugby. But we won't go into that. <laughs> Sports. I, I used to like uh, cross-country running. That was my favourite. Can I dance? Says the dark cat. No? Just, uh... Lirim. Lirim says, are you humans or what? Why don't you read my message? Thank you, Lirim Sopatch. We've Pass got so many messages coming onto the screen that it's almost impossible to read them all if you could see the screen here they're literally flashing by so quickly and uh, apologies but sometimes we miss uh, uh, we miss messages because we literally haven't got time to read them before they go off the screen yes i think i think you've you've cleared that problem up yes well we are getting more messages today than we normally do on the live stream the dark cat says can i dance i'll just do a little box step a what? A box step. I'll yeah. Do a box step. Yeah. There okay then. Go. Okay there, Steve. Do a box step. There we go. That just looks like you're walking backwards and forwards. I'm doing a box. That's the most basic dance step. A box step. You just basically go around in in a square. Okay, then that's great. I love the way Steve's still talking to the camera and he hasn't even got the microphone. <laughs> doing a box step. And I'll do it the other way around, just to prove I can do it the other way around as well. <laughs> there we go. What, what's tap going... I'm dancing now, I'm what, tap dancing now. It, what, what's going on? Well, the dark cat said, can I dance? So I just wanted to demonstrate that I can. Yeah, but you still haven't answered the question. Can you dance? Because I haven't seen any dancing yet. 
well uh, maybe that's for the uh, the viewers to uh to give their opinion as to what they thought to my box step i thought you were having some sort of fit no i just thought uh, i've got to do something i've been standing here for half an hour it's about time uh, i did something uh, to demonstrate that i can't just talk i can also uh, dance as well Please, can you do the makeover again? Can you do the makeover again? No, that was last week. It's, it's never happening again. I'd love to do the makeover again. <laughs> maybe, may, maybe, maybe next time Mr. Steve could do some plastic surgery. Maybe he would get a, get a knife and maybe do some Demus, things. Demus 3 says, did I buy a new wheel or have... Oh, yes. Yes, no, I had to buy a new tyre. A tyre, not the wheel. I just had to by the tyre that goes on the wheel. The wheel wasn't damaged. Uh, I managed to pull over before the wheel was damaged, but yes, I did get a new tyre. Ah, yes, because last week, Mr. Steve was driving and one of his tyres exploded. He had a blowout. Eugene, <laughs> yes, Eugene I, says maybe... I, I said blowout. M Eugene says maybe you should give me a makeover. Maybe we could do that. Yes. But we, we don't have enough time. We've only got two hours. It'll take far more than two hours to give you a makeover. Oh, thanks very much for that, Mr. Duncan. Are you suggesting that I would need a lot of makeup to cover this flaws that, that you seem to be able to suggesting that I have? Sorry, was, was that a sentence <laughs> there? Was that a sentence? Just rearrange those words and, and you might have, have an actual coherent sentence. I'm uh, I'm beginning to lose the will to live here because you, Mr. Duncan said we'll only be here for five or ten minutes. We've now well, been here for an hour and twenty-one minutes. We've been here for five minutes, but then we've we've multiplied that five minutes by by so many numbers. Actually, interestingly enough, let me return back to the the story of the tire. I had the tire put on, but they haven't balanced the wheel properly because as soon as I got on the motorway, I could feel vibration. Yes, and, uh, I, I don't think that's anything unusual with you. They haven't balanced the wheel properly, so I'm going to have to go back there and uh, and uh, tell them to rebalance the wheel because it's vibrating on the motorway. You know, when I get to 100 miles an hour, you can definitely feel a vibration on the motorway. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling a vibration now in the studio of my left leg, to be honest. Oh, a very nice message from Ching Naji. I think you are both brilliant teachers. Well, I am a teacher, and Mr. Steve isn't a teacher, but he likes to join in with my live streams. So Thank I suppose... Thank you very much for that. Yes, interesting that, uh, that Ching says that he likes to hear practical conversation, everyday conversation. And Inste that's... Instead of just listening to grammar all the time. So all of the grammar rules and all of the, the things that you have to follow. So that might be a little boring. So the thing is you can actually listen to a conversation that's taking place. And of course we don't plan this. We haven't planned any of this. It is all spontaneous. We haven't today. We did have a plan. Uh, because it takes Mr. Duncan a long time to prepare his uh, his 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 live streams, and we had a, a real plan. So we've just done this completely off the cuff. We've just been making it up as we go along, off the cuff, spontaneous. Because Mr. Duncan said we'd only be on for five minutes. So normal service, as we say, will be resumed next week, and uh, Mr. Duncan will be sitting in his chair, and I'll be sitting in my chair. It feels like you're putting this microphone down my back. <laughs> I just want to stuff it in my mouth. Well, the, there, like there, there, there is a, there is a temptation. There's a temptation to stuff it in your mouth. The microphone, that do is. Do I have any idioms today? Well, well we don't really, do we? Uh, well, we, we have got them, but they're... Uh, well, they're on video. The, the things that we were going to show are actually on video, and they're in the computer, and the compu computer is broken. So that's the reason why, unfortunately. Thank you, uh, Giuseppe. Thank you very much for your lovely messages. Thank you very much to uh, Conil as well. And also to, let's see, I'm just trying to find some more. Now that you've danced, please sing a song. We have to be careful singing songs because YouTube has become very strict and they like to block people now and take away their, their ad revenue. So I have to be very careful. In fact, last week I was very disappointed because YouTube are actually going to take a, 
take one of my channels one of my youtube channels off they they have said that they're going to remove all of the the monetization for advertisements so i was very disappointed about that fortunately it doesn't affect my main channel hello from mexico i'm new to the channel and this is what i need exactly to practice my listening thank you so much and congratulations guys thank you very much to emmanuel montero watching in mexico That's a lovely name what are you talking about says eugene we're just talking about everyday subjects english we're just conversing uh, and having natural conversation that's what we're doing today e except for that strange pause just did you see that we, we we both went into our own worlds so what were you thinking about then steve for that, that, that 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 strange moment when we both i was thinking what can i say next and nothing came into my head so uh, uh we decided to read which is very useful that when we go blank and can't think of anything to say, we can just read some of the lovely messages. Look, I, I, can I just say now, I never go blank. I never have blank in, in this head. There is always something in my head. There is always something on the tip of my tongue. I would love to sing a song and I'm going to find something uh, one of these weeks. I was going to sing something from uh, the Mikado. Was I not, Mr. Duncan? Yes, that, that should get uh, rid of most of our viewers. Uh, but uh, we've got to sing something that's not in copyright. Uh, so it's got to be over 100 years old. Or uh, YouTube will, will uh, be very angry and will uh, maybe punish you in some way. Well, they, they, they seem to be punishing everyone at the moment, except for the, the people that, that have millions and millions and millions of subscribers. But everyone else is being treated really badly. So, so even I am being affected by some of the new rules and some of the new things. And I never do anything wrong on YouTube. And yet I, I'm also being punished for doing nothing. Alex says, uh, do meditation. Well, I used to do a lot of meditation. Uh, and it's very good at calming your brain down because your, your brain all the time, we've always got this constant internal chattering going on. Well, you certainly have. In our heads. Have you noticed your brain is constantly the inner dialogue, as they call it, this inner conversation that's always there. And uh, meditation is a very good way of, of calming that down and uh, switching your brain off. And I need to do that. Because I can get quite stressed, can't I, Mr. Duncan? You can get um, stressed sometimes, but you are a busy person. You are you are the type of person who always likes to do things. You you keep very busy, but of course, there there are two sides to being busy. So being busy means that you use your time very very well. You use it very usefully. But the other side is, of course, it can make you very tired and very stressed. So I think sometimes you do too much, Mr. Steve, and maybe that is not good for you. Yes, yes um, YouTube has a very horrible algorithm. This is true. I am now a victim of the algorithms on YouTube. They actually introduced the algorithms uh, in 2011. And since then, I have been affected by it in many ways. So it's it's not really a very good thing. So so I'm feeling a little annoyed. But many people are now on YouTube feeling very annoyed because of some of the changes that have taken place recently. Somebody there wants to know what hot under the collar means. If you get uh, hot under the collar, it means you get mad, angry, you get annoyed, you get very hot under the collar so if if you start to get angry if you start to fume that's another word you fume you get very hot because you are getting annoyed you get hot under the collar of course it can also mean excited as well so if you get very excited you can also get hot under the collar so excited or anger, anything that stirs your emotions, either negatively or positively, you get hot under the collar. Somebody there, uh, Luciano, uh, was saying there a way to uh, keep calm is to 
breathe slowly and that is that is that is very true uh and there are all sorts of techniques in fact when you're meditating um that's what they ask you to concentrate on your breathing to to literally concentrate on every in breath every out breath so that your total focus is just on that in in the moment in the present moment so you just concentrate on on your breathing or you can look at a candle flame or you can count numbers i find counting numbers helps me to focus and i like i like to count sheep i like to when i'm lying in bed sometimes i have to count sheep but of course they are very hard to get up the stairs they, they don't like going up the stairs, but I do enjoy counting sheep at night. Uh, and sometimes they get on the bed and, and they, they do big poops. Well, I don't think uh, I want to be in your bedroom, Mr. Duncan, if there are sheep in there. Uh, I need a drink. My throat's getting quite dry. Yes, I normally have a bottle of water, but I don't have a bottle of water. It's now one hour and 30 minutes that we've been here talking to you live and the reason why like the reason why we're doing this today is because my computer has died my computer has broken i'm going to try and get it fixed but hopefully during the week i'm going to try and get it mended but of course it looks as if i need some some replacement parts my computer is very old it needs upgrading upgrading do you think it's got a virus mr duncan definitely not a virus it is definitely the hardware that is the problem the hardware so it's actually the equipment itself the things that make the computer work so the the motherboard which is the brain of the computer and also the graphics card which controls the things that you see so these things are now out of date. They are over eight years old. Yes, and there's a lot of dust in Mr. Duncan's computer as well. Uh, if you look through uh, into Mr. Duncan's computer, you will see a lot of dust. And I think he should get the vacuum cleaner in there as well. I think that would stop it overheating. Yes, I've done that already, though. I've d I did it not long ago. I thought that was the problem. But unfortunately, it didn't cure anything. It didn't make anything better, unfortunately. Everyone is saying you should get a new computer. I would love to buy a new computer, um, completely new. But unfortunately, because the specifications of the computer is very high for what I want to do, it, it will cost quite a lot of money. We are talking over. Now, I, I will tell you, you're going to be very shocked. Now, the computer behind me, as I mentioned earlier, was over £2,000, and that was eight years ago. So the computer I have to buy now is even more expensive. So that's why I'm going to try and get an upgrade, an upgrade. Yes, the computer can be broken because of the dust. Um, I've actually cleaned the dust out. I, I, I got a, a vacuum cleaner and, and I sucked... I sucked a lot of the the dust out of the computer, but it's actually the hardware. The hardware is old, and because of many changes that have occurred over the years <clears throat> with with different things, including live streaming, because eight years ago there was nothing, there was no such thing as live streaming eight years ago. Yes, somebody just said somebody said they're going to send you a donation to PayPal, which is very nice. Uh, but somebody else has just said that we must be quite fit to be standing here for more than an hour. I can tell you, my legs, my calves are aching. Uh, I didn't, I, I didn't know you had baby cows. No, you said that already. Oh, I, I made that joke already, but I, I wasn't sure if you had heard my calves, which is the uh, well, this part of my leg yeah, no down one can here. See, it's down there. Okay. So the the calf is. There we go. Oh, can I get that onto the camera? My calves. Calves. There we go. Oh, these, my calves. I think Steve will have to take his trousers off to show you. I don't think people needed to see that really. But they're aching <laughs> because we've been standing up for an hour. I'm just wondering if, if people needed to see any of this, to be honest. <laughs> 
they have done i need a drink of water can i go and get a drink of water mr steve you can do can i get a drink of water can you get me one too will you let me have a drink of water just one advice if you are not sure that you come live do not put fake announcements on facebook i almost fake announcements i didn't know that i had put a fake announcement on facebook oh i know what i know, I know what uh, simona means because you said that you weren't going to be live today and uh, because you've got a problem with the computer and now of course we've been here been here for an hour and a half over because mr duncan said let's just go on for 10 minutes and say sorry we can't do it. and we've ended up just Wait, by that, accident yes. being I, here. I do wish you'd put a, a full stop in your sentences i'm go trying get yourself some water i'm trying to explain uh, i did actually say on my facebook page that i would be coming on on the mobile phone so i did actually say that to be honest in all honesty so it wasn't fake but this morning i found out that the computer wasn't working properly so it was very short notice so i do apologize if it caused we some, weren't meant to stay some on this long at all <laughs> everyone's saying take the mic mr steve take the mic yes you're taking the mic get me the <laughs> that that will sound horrible to people listening with headphones i'm sorry about that it was steve's fault uh what a mess your studio is such a mess yes i always say a dirty studio or a messy studio is a busy studio there is nothing worse than having a tidy studio so if your studio is very tidy it means you are doing nothing apart from tidying your studio all the time oh mr duncan's giving me the microphone i could say anything now i think this needs adjustment this camera mr duncan he's gonna have to get some water i mentioned virus earlier a computer virus and in uh, in the uk at the moment we are in the midst of a flu virus uh i don't quite sure whether we've got an epidemic uh, but they had a very bad flu in Australia, and it's come over here as well. Or, at least that's what people believe. So uh, perhaps uh, Mr. Duncan's computer has got a virus, uh, a real virus, a flu virus. Has it been coughing and spluttering your computer, Mr. Duncan? Perhaps we can make a, a diagnosis. Perhaps we can find out what the real problem is. Has it been... Uh, we can see you there, Mr. Duncan. Has your computer been... Has it had a sore throat? Has it been coughing and spluttering? And has it been getting too hot? Has it got a fever? <laughs> He's not going to answer me. But I think probably, possibly that is what is happening to Mr. Duncan's computer. It has caught the, the virus that I had this week. In fact, I didn't feel very well this week. I had a, a bit of a, a sore throat, a bit of a temperature. And I thought I was coming down with the flu. But in fact, I didn't. And I think I coughed on Mr. Duncan's computer and I gave the, uh, the, the bug uh, to Mr. Duncan's computer. And I think it's my fault. <laughs> uh, what? There we go. You can have some of that. I'm not drinking out of that. God knows what germs are on the end of that. I'm going to get my own drink. Mr. Steve won't even drink out of the same bottle as me. I don't know why. He, he, I think Mr. Steve might be a bit of a germaphobe. That computer needs lots of hot drinks. Please go. <laughs> I feel ashamed watching you stand there all the time. Don't worry. I hope for you it's not the motherboard. I think the problem is the motherboard and also the graphic card. So because of the, the fact that this computer is very old, I think that's the problem. So the computer is just old. And of course, there are many technological changes over the years which mean that this computer behind me has slowly become obsolete obsolete maybe later maybe one day i will become obsolete do you th do you think to produce recorded lessons like memory sense reality they are really useful yes there are lots of recorded lessons on my youtube channel in fact there are over 500 500 let what? sorry <laughs> that what what are you drinking from well i'm not like you uh. mr duncan <laughs> i don't drink my water like a common person out of a bottle i drink mine in a in a champagne glass i don't drink my water at all 
<laughs> Sir, it's not good for you to drink while standing. Well, I, I need a drink, unfortunately. I'm very thirsty. What is... Cheers. What? Oh, is that champagne? No, it isn't champagne, fortunately. It's just plain old water. I thought everyone drank their uh, water out of champagne glasses. But, of course, I was brought up properly. And uh, this is how we always drink our water at home. <laughs> that I'm, is delicious. I, I, I'm desperately thinking that I'm going to erase this live stream. I'm going to delete it afterwards. I'm not sure if this is very good. Are, are you actually enjoying this? Because it was only supposed to be five minutes because unfortunately my computer has broken. So we are doing the live stream on the mobile phone today. Yes, and we were only going to come on for five minutes and we've been on for an hour and 40. One hour and, 40. Uh, thank you. Yes, this is a nice glass. It's got a nice gold gold piece around the stem of the glass that's it's it's, it's very posh it's a very posh glass it is yes where can people see everything on the, what what is the field of view there does it stop there or is it no, right they, they can see well they can see you and they can How see me the glass there we go all of it they can see all of the glass what what you can see there Everyone watching can see. It's Fancy very drinking out of a bottle. It's very. I'm. I'm so thirsty. What I, kind of impression is this making to your viewers? I, let me just tell you now. I am so thirsty. I was actually losing my voice. Yes, that flute. that particular type yes. of glass is called a flute. A flute. That would be. A, that is. Trust a French person to tell us what is the correct. Uh, name for this glass it's a flute a flute because normally you drink champagne from a flute glass a flute of champagne and don't forget real champagne only comes from the place called champagne never buy local champagne <laughs> aristocratic traditions yes maybe i think drinking champagne is seen as very very aristocratic mr duncan could you please repeat the right way to send you money from my bank account um well we're taking donations on paypal at the moment i will show you the address in a moment because mr steve has disappeared he's gone so i'm in the process of repairing my computer but unfortunately my computer has died so i'm hoping to get it repaired before next week but the problem is it might cost quite a lot of money to put it right oh hello i don't know why steve has now brought two glasses he's brought two glasses into the yeah, studio because uh, i think you should have a proper glass for drinking your uh, your water out of this is very uh, so that's uh, something we weren't expecting to do today. But, you know, I didn't like to see you with a common plastic bottle, which, by the way, actually, interestingly enough, that's a subject that's been on the news in the UK a lot today. Has it? Uh, yes. All week we've been talking about plastic bottles in the UK and what we can do about the, uh, the recycling and of plastic bottles and how many millions and billions of plastic bottles are used every year for soft drinks, in particular water. And uh, there's been a lot of complaints, a lot of debate about what we should do. In fact, they're talking about banning buying water in plastic bottles, aren't they, Mr. Duncan? Are you sure, this, you are you sure this isn't your wee-wee? You haven't done a wee-wee in here, have you? Well, it's a bit pale. <laughs> it, wee -wee, well, there. Let, let, let me just sample oh, some. Just, I, I think maybe this this might be Mr. Steve's. I'm just smelling this first. Yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> a certain piquancy about this water. Plastic contamination is a big issue today. Yes. Apparently, the oceans are full of plastic, and not just large pieces of plastic. There is also something called microbeads, which is something that is. Uh, um, apparent in lots of cosmetics and microbeads are tiny but because they are very small and because many of them are being dumped into the sea uh, many fish are actually eating these tiny pieces of plastic 
Right. The, uh, yes, they are. And because we are using a lot more plastic and people were saying that the, the debate I was listening to was a bit one sided because they were talking about how disgraceful they were almost making you feel guilty for buying bottled water. But of course, bottled water tastes a lot nicer than tap water because tap water tastes of chlorine. So you can, can understand why people buy bottled water. In fact, I buy bottled water. Uh, but we recycle, I recycle the plastic bottles so that they're being reused. Yes, yeah, so we always recycle our plastic bottles. But I don't think bottles are the only problem. There are other things as well that are being dumped into the sea, including plastic bags and also coffee cups, plastic coffee cups and also microbeads, as I mentioned earlier. You like, you like using the word microbeads, don't you? Microbeads. When I say microbeads, it makes me sound like a scientist. Mm. Yes, uh, except that you're not. But never mind. Never mind, Mr. Duncan. Yes, uh, it's a big problem. And uh, more and more plastic bottles. And, of course, there are so many billions of people in the world that we're all using more and more plastic bottles. Where will it all end, Mr. Duncan? I, um, I have to actually put the PayPal address up again. So if you could put your glass down for a moment. Oh, I'll... Um, I've been asked what the PayPal address is. I will show you. Yes, he doesn't like me to have this microphone. Have you noticed? He doesn't like me fiddling around with his equipment. Uh, you might have noticed there's a running theme every week. I'm either speaking too loudly or the microphone isn't in the right place. And if, God forbid if I was to reach up and try and adjust the microphone that he put places above my head. Uh, but there you go. Mr. Duncan is... Uh, it's quite technical and he likes everything to be just right and he likes you to, to have the best possible picture and the best possible sound and i'm pointing the microphone away from him because i'm not used to using a microphone so i don't even know if you can hear me actually mr duncan's you can see him working away in the background there he's bringing over a big white board which is something he, he always said that he would never use on his live streams oh shut up uh he's, he's got hates white boards oh blimey have i got to move so what are you showing there, Mr. Duncan? So there is the PayPal address. There it is, for those wondering. There is the PayPal address. PayPal.me slash Mr. Duncan. And there it is. So you can send a donation if you wish to, to help me get my computer working again. Julie G says, yes, put lemon in the tap water. That That is right. It gets rid of the chlorine. You can, of course, buy... Uh, filters for the tap water. I used to have one of those, so I might go revert back to using that instead of buying bottled water. Revert? Revert, go back. Uh, of course, we didn't used to drink bottled water in the UK, and the first famous brand that came over from France was Perrier water. Perrier water. Uh, I, don't, I think we can still get it here. Uh, but, uh, of course, there's many other brands of it now. I don't know why I'm talking so much about uh, about uh, bottled water. But there you go. Somebody said you look clumsy. No, they said you do. I look clumsy. Yes, thank you very much. Someone agrees with me. Mr. Steve is useless at using the microphone. Thank you. Someone actually agrees with me. So, so thank you for your support I there. I need training. I need training. You definitely do. Do you want me to put this back over there for you? <laughs> I will. No, leave it there. Leave it there. See, now, now Mr. Steve is interfering. Perrier is water with gas in it. Yes, it's fizzy. So Perrier has bubbles. It's fizzy water. And you like fizzy water, don't you, Mr. Duncan? This is true. Every Saturday when I have my meal in Much Wenlock, I always like to have some fizzy water. I'm not sure if it's Perrier. No, carbonated. That's the other word we can use for fizzy water. We can say it's carbonated because they put uh, um, a gas in it that makes it all nice and fizzy. Carbon dioxide is the gas that they put into uh, uh, into fizzy water. Yes, I, I think... Somebody said it was poisonous. Uh, uh, yes, though. apparently someone says Don Gardenio says fizzy water equals poison. Mm, I don't think Don likes fizzy water. I'm not a fan either. I prefer still water. 
Uh, I, I like I like to watch the bubbles. I like to hold the glass up and watch the bubbles. It's very effervescent. Oh, effervescent. Effervescent. Yeah. Something very sparkly. Something with a lot of energy. Something with a lot of movement is effervescent. Yeah, so do you like your water to be still or sparkling? Or flavoured? Wow. We're, we're talking about some really deep subjects today. So what do you like? Do you like fizzy water or still water? Oh, well, I prefer still water. OK, I prefer fizzy water. OK, well, that's cleared that one up. Next subject. <laughs> that was quick. Well, we've got 10 minutes to go. We might as well stay for the full two hours now. Well, we are going to do the whole two hours, so we will stay until four o'clock. We are going to do the full oh, yes. two hours. I, we, we weren't expecting, I must admit, I wasn't expecting to stay this long because we had some problems with the computer. So that's the reason why today's live stream is very different. Hopefully later there will be some subtitles later. So if you come back later to watch this again, so I've been told that I, I can't delete this live stream, even though I want to. I really want to delete this. So I've been told that I can't. <laughs> so I won't. Don just said he prefers his water with whiskey in it, and I agree. Oh, I see. We have a drinker. Yes, whiskey and a little bit of soda water, maybe. Yes, yes. Uh, and somebody else again said put lemon in your water but i don't you don't always have a lemon and i can't be bothered to cut a lemon up if i want some tap water tala uh, khan says i've been watching your your lessons for nine years oh thank you very much that's a long time and they've been mainly watching you because i've only been recently joining you yes oh, mr what? steve although having said that mr steve has appeared in my older recorded lessons made about 10 years ago so we did appear once or twice in my older lessons but last year mr steve decided to join me you wanted to join in with the live stream and that is what is happening right up to this very moment of time yes with nine minutes to go and uh, i'm getting quite hungry now because i'm looking forward to uh, some of my tiger bread which is the white bread with butter and uh, marmalade uh so uh there we go ah yes somebody's the french uh, leo said there prefers glass bottles because the plastic bottles change the taste of the liquid yes i probably agree with you then uh, there uh and uh, perhaps also you're you're consuming small amounts of plastic uh which is a bit of a worry in fact they do think that uh, all the plastics that we actually ingest in food because a lot of milk now comes in in cartons which are lined with plastic you can buy lots of ready meals come in plastic containers so and fast food, fast uh, food. Or, or or meals that are already prepared often they come in plastic containers as well yeah so yeah yes i've never i've never really thought of that to be honest when i when i drink bottled water i never think of the fact that there might be some plastic actually in the water i've never thought of that before yes you particularly in uh food that you heat up so in in the in the the quick ready meals that are in plastic containers that you put in the microwave particularly if there's fat in the food uh you will get a certain amount of the plastic uh, uh going into the food oh this is is this some uh, sort of reaction because i i heard of this um Actually, I think it was a number of years ago, people were talking about if you have food in, in plastic containers, you have to be careful what type of food it is. So if you have very fatty food, mm -hmm. the, the fat in the food and the plastic will, will react. And so you could... What happens is that the, uh, the plastic, uh, you get a small amount of the plastic just uh, going into the fat in the food Ugh. because it's the plastic uh, and the fat... Uh, the fat will actually dissolve a small amount of the plastic uh, off the container and um, particularly if it's heated up so you are actually taking small amounts of plastic into your body and the plastic apparently they think acts like a hormone so it has strange effects on your body's metabolism uh, so uh, they're looking into the long-term effects of 
have of ingesting small amounts of plastic talking of plastic in food i remember when i was in china i used to be addicted to a certain brand of milk and this milk was absolutely delicious it was absolutely lovely and it was so creamy and thick now after i returned back here to the uk there was a big scandal in china where it was discovered that the manufacturer of this milk had been putting plastic in to the milk actually adding a plastic it's, it was like a substance that was it was one of the things used to make plastic and they, they were putting it in the milk to make the milk thick and creamy and people had been drinking this milk for many years including me by the way it was the, the actual brand of milk that i'd been drinking in china and they had actually been putting plastic into the milk itself it was a huge scandal about uh, i think it was about eight maybe nine years ago so they put the plastic in to try and make the food seem more palatable uh and to make uh, it actually look nice when you poured it out it looked thick and it was actually a, a type of plastic yes that that is true um and uh, you were quite worried when you came back when you saw this because you'd been drinking it for years yes i i loved it i was well because i i like drinking milk anyway apparently drinking milk is supposed to be healthy but but unfortunately the type of milk i was drinking in china was actually the opposite it was actually unhealthy so i don't know what the long-term effect will be on my body maybe i will get some terrible disease later in life go back suddenly somebody somebody uh, talked about uh, um go back a bit further mr duncan uh, about using aluminium pans there we go uh, luciano zitto uh, said don't use aluminium for hot food that's true the main uh, aluminium saucepans the main problem with that is you you shouldn't put acidic foods into aluminium saucepans because it dissolves if you've got something like fruit, for example, you don't want to cook fruit in an aluminium saucepan because it dissolves the aluminium and that aluminium is poisonous. This is all very worrying, by the way. Yes, I know. There's lots of things that you My mother uh, always used to cook. Here we go. She won't like me if she's watching this. Yeah, you, she used to cook you, rhubarb. You, you, we often mention Mr. Steve's mother every week. Uh, she used to cook rhubarb, which is a, a type of... Uh, uh, fruit um which is quite acidic uh and she used to cook it in aluminium saucepans because it cleaned the saucepan <laughs> uh, but not realizing at the time because nobody knew then that uh, it was actually dissolving the aluminium and then you would uh, obviously be taking this into your system how how are we both alive still it's how are uh, how are you you were being poisoned slowly by your mother and i was being poisoned by the chinese uh well yes somebody just said their soya milk of course we do both drink soya milk um I, I have soya milk some days and then and then cow's milk other days uh but yeah soya milk and you like soya milk because you you have a special vanilla flavored soya milk do you there, there is yes uh, uh, now in the past i i didn't want to drink soya milk because i don't like the taste it's it tastes disgusting but i found some lovely soya milk which has some flavor some vanilla flavor so it, it's it's quite nice it's very palatable if something is palatable it means it tastes good it means it is something you can eat or drink and it tastes quite pleasant so yes um soya milk uh so we we, we tend to drink that all the time now don't we we we, we use soya milk and then sometimes we use normal milk in in tea and coffee yes i don't like soya milk in tea or coffee um but certainly in cereal porridge or cornflakes weetabix then uh you I, I tend to mix uh cow's milk and soya milk together because i think you can have too much cow's milk and sometimes it's healthier to have a bit of soya milk but then a few months ago I mean, they've been telling... This is what they do all the time, isn't it? They tell you to, to do something different because it's supposedly healthier. And then, and then years later, it turns out it's not that healthy. So, the, so for example, back in the, in the 1980s, 
back here in the UK, they told us that we shouldn't be uh, eating butter. We should be eating margarine because butter was bad for us. Butter, of course, comes from cows and we should be eating uh, vegetable oil derived spreads like margarine. And now it turns out 30 years later that margarine is very bad for you. And in fact, butter is is good for you. Yeah, I was thinking about this last night because I was I was making a sandwich and I was thinking, shall I put my low fat butter or shall I put normal butter? And then, of course, I realized that now we, we're, we're being encouraged to actually put normal butter on our food where, where years ago they were saying you shouldn't because it's bad for you so this is another problem it's very confusing sometimes so what is good for you and what is bad for you sometimes it's very confusing because they keep changing their minds i think it's very simple you just ignore everything they tell you and as long as you do everything in moderation you get some exercise you eat a bit of everything i don't think you've got too much to worry about because let's face it all if you ever speak to anybody if you see anybody interviewed that's reached the age of 100, because when anyone gets to 100 years of age, they always interview them and, and ask them, you know, what did you do? Yes, and uh, they always sort of say, they always say things like, um, and it's always things that are the opposite of what you would expect. So, so they, they, they often interview someone who's maybe 101 or maybe 105, and they always ask them the same question. What is your secret to living long and the person being interviewed will always say I, I always have a drink of whiskey every day every day I have a drink of whiskey and I, I think what how, how come all of these people always say the same thing and I've decided that there must be a conspiracy so I think all of these whiskey manufacturers are going around and bribing these old people to say that they drink whiskey and that's how they live forever. So I think I think it's a conspiracy, to be honest. I think we should tell Alex Jones all about this. Emmanuel says there that we're we're not designed to uh, to digest milk. Uh, cert certainly, that is true. Some people um, uh, do have problems digesting milk, and uh, that's because of the lactose. So they are lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant. Some people do. Not everybody, but certain. Uh, sections of the population do have problems digesting milk just as some people have problems digesting the gluten in wheat mm. wheat products so they can't eat bread have you ever tasted gluten-free bread mr duncan uh, i've tried some gluten-free cake and i've tr i've tried some gluten-free biscuits now the biscuits weren't too bad but the the other stuff the cake was disgusting uh, so anything without gluten quite often tastes quite terrible yes i feel sorry for people who have got glu uh, gluten intolerance and can't have gluten in their diet which is contained in virtually well all wheat products certainly so you can't eat cakes biscuits bread uh, i think there's even some in in rice as well so they've got to be it's very careful, but I feel very sorry for them because the other day I, I accidentally, I was lunchtime and I went to a supermarket to get a sandwich and I accidentally picked up a gluten-free bread sandwich. Uh, it was disgusting. I couldn't eat it. It tasted absolutely disgusting. So if you're gluten intolerant, I do feel sorry for you. Um, uh, so yes. Gluten-free products, not ideal. We've now been on for two hours and two minutes. I can't believe we've been standing in, in, for this long. We weren't going to do any live stream at all today. We weren't because my computer broke. That's the reason why it, it wasn't working very well. Uh, uh, I think it may have died, in fact. So we are now doing a live stream via the mobile phone. But we've been here for two hours and three minutes. And I was only supposed to be here for five minutes. Oh, yes, five minutes and two hours have passed. It's incredible. I must admit, I, I don't want to be on for much longer, Mr. Duncan. I'm, I'm, my neck's aching, my calves are aching, and I'm hungry. You see, I'm used to doing this, so I, I can stand here for hours talking because I always remember, I remember when I was working in China, I, I never used to sit down. People used to 
always come up and ask mr duncan why do you never sit down we never see you sitting in a chair and that's because i love standing up i always feel more comfortable standing and sometimes when i'm sitting over there editing or presenting my live stream i feel more tired sitting down than i do when i'm standing up oh we're having something nice to eat tonight aren't we go go in go and show the viewers what we are eating tonight because lots of people are interested in the things that we eat for some reason i don't know why so yes tonight we are having it oh it is sunday yes it's sunday today so we are having salmon tonight salmon and mr steve is going to show the salmon now i think it might be in the fridge the refrigerator so mr steve is now going to bring the salmon eventually <laughs> i still can't believe we've been on for two hours and four minutes that's incredible so mr steve is going to bring ah okay here we go now this is something that we will be doing next week as well hopefully we're going to make curry next week but today we are talking about the thing we are eating later so let's have a look there we go uh, some uh, salmon which is uh, this is a particularly nice piece of salmon uh, uh, fresh salmon from uh, the sea uh, there we go and it says on there if anyone is noticing it says uh, that we should have eaten this by the 9th of December or not the 9th of January I think it says uh, but don't worry because it's been frozen uh, <laughs> just, uh, it's been frozen so uh, we can eat it so I bought it around the 9th of uh, uh, maybe the 7th of January I stuck it in the deep freeze and so that's why it says 9th of January on it December you just said the 9th of December uh, it says January 9th of January so we can eat it because it's been frozen in the in the deep freeze and it's now I've thawed it out it has defrosted and I will be putting that in the oven later so something nice for tea what else have you got there steve we're having it with uh white rice no we'll be having it with brown rice not white rice this is for the curry uh and uh this little vegetable here which is a sweet potato this little vegetable here is mr steve <laughs> sorry no <laughs> this is yes yeah, sweet potato by the way sweet potato is my most favorite vegetable of all and my second most favorite vegetable is mr steve <laughs> that's twice i made that joke look at the abuse i have to take uh i think i'm going to toddle off into the kitchen and let you wrap up steve is going to toddle off toddle if you toddle off it means you will go away you will walk off okay steve we will let you go we'll see you next week hopefully okay live as live can be on the live chat hopefully it's been great fun today it's been lovely reading your comments and i think the idea of of, uh, of doing a live stream in the week where we interact more with the uh, the, the viewers is, is a very good idea so bye-bye to everyone and uh, see you next week and uh, it's been great fun bye steve bye steve is going now and i am also going uh, i hope you've enjoyed this two hours we we weren't supposed to be here because my computer sadly had some problems this morning so we couldn't do our normal live stream and that's the reason why we are here now through the mobile phone oh everyone's going no no why are you saying no i don't know why do you mean no don't go <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> no i have to go now i've been here for two hours and eight minutes and to be honest with you it's been a very long time and I'm rather thirsty and also a little bit hungry as well. <laughs> so I will see you next week, hopefully. And yes, if you think this is a good idea to do a live stream during the week, maybe Mr. Steve and myself, we could stand here and talk to you about general things. I hope you have enjoyed this. Bye, Mr. Duncan. Thank you. Thank you, Talia. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Hussein. Thank you to Louise. And thank you very much to Abril.
It was a perfect live stream. Thank you very much for that. I've enjoyed this stream very much. Yes. Thank you very much for this class and we love your efforts. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you also to Sergio and also to Eugene and Doxa and Guadalupe or Guadalupe. Thank you very much to Hussein and also thank you to Bella giuseppe and just before i go for those who are asking about the address the paypal address i will show you it one more time there it is so there is the paypal address and i will try to get my computer fixed although at the moment i can't make any promises but as far as i can tell i'm hoping to be here next week live on youtube thanks for watching me today and i will see you next sunday i hope <laughs> and who knows i might be here during the week as well with another one of these mobile live streams so we will see what happens shall we thanks for your company i'm going now we are coming up to 10 minutes after four o'clock here in the uk in fact it's coming up to 4 15 a quarter past four in the afternoon here in the uk and this is mr duncan saying thanks for watching thank you for staying with me and please keep your fingers crossed that next sunday <laughs> there will be a proper normal live stream this is mr duncan in england saying thanks a lot and i hope you've enjoyed this very unusual live stream and of course you know what's coming next yes you do ta-ta for now